And now on Monday Morning Racer, NHRA Lucas Oil top alcohol drag racing action from the Baby Gators at Gainesville Raceway. I'm Lee Kraft. This video is brought to you by OcalaTrailer.com. The Baby Gators took nearly a week to complete with rain in the Sunshine State. We'll pick up the action with stories from qualifying and then roll right into eliminations. Fifty-five right now. Stan Sipos puts you provisional number one qualifier. We didn't have you being number one anytime soon. No, no. I was. I've been away for thirty-two years. This is uh, first race. I've, I've got maybe twelve runs under my, uh, if that, under my belt. Uh, we're just really excited to have this opportunity. Les Davenport, greatest crew chief in the world. That five-second club, there was eight guys that got into that club. It's quite a special group of guys, I think. It was a special achievement. And um, we're just really grateful and happy to be back and, and behind the wheel of a fighter jet. Biggest difference since 1992 in these bad hot rods? Well, yesterday in my, uh, in my run where we ran 553, it carried the wheels for about two seconds. I'd never felt that. It, we were like... It was carrying the front wheels a little light on the nose. They accelerate like crazy. It kind of reminded me when we used to run six O's and we ran a 590, you could feel the difference. Very similar. These cars are just animals accelerating. And um, you know, we're, and I'm getting used to a two-step, so we don't, it's a two-step, it's still a, a clutch transmission, but uh, man, it's a, it's a ride. It's a ride and a half. Not only is Mike Coughlin in the field at number eight, but he won the award for the coolest tow vehicle in the pits. Mike, you won a region championship last year. You come in first race of the year for you, and for going number eight, your reward, you get Jackie Frick, the number one qualifier. Yeah, that's uh, that's okay. These, uh, these eight car fields are tough, you know, um, especially uh, we've got a brand new car here, so uh, we're pretty excited that uh, the, the new car qualified. So that's, that's a feat in itself. And of course to run Jackie, she just won last weekend in, in uh, Belrose and, and those guys are as tough as ever. They always are. New car and as just talking with you off camera, the intention is more races with McPhillips and see what you can do for the world championship. Yeah, well, I signed up for uh, enough races this year to run, uh, to run for the title, you know, and uh, we've had the uh, last two seasons have been uh, uh, really good for us um, so we signed up just to see what we could do you know um, got a, the, the, the folks are great they're ready to go we're ready to go this new car is gonna be good so well, I don't know we'll see we'll see Well, Ulf Leanders actually might have the coolest tow vehicle, but you are number one qualifier for the floppers here at the Baby Gators, dipping into the 40s. That's got to make coming across the pond all that much sweeter. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had some rain yesterday, and this feels so nice right now to qualify number one. And, uh, you know, we just flew in Wednesday evening, and uh, it just feels great right now. 
This video is brought to you by OcalaTrailer.com. From utility trailers, enclosed trailers, toy haulers, easy loaders, and more in the trailer world. If you are looking for your right trailer, you will find it at OcalaTrailer.com. You can follow Matt Cummings right there, but you might not want to follow his tire tracks round one with that wild ride that he did have. Nonetheless, you took out the defending reigning world champion, Julie Natus. Yeah, somehow uh, it all came together. This has been a very long weekend, and, uh, and we went up there, and we were loaded for bear, of course, going against the world champ. And uh, I, I got some severe tire shake out there right away. Um, so I didn't see her to my left at first, and then uh, I pedaled it. Then I saw her to my left, then she slowed down, and then I got back into it, and that's when the, the wild wheel stand started. Then I was headed towards the center line, had to get back out of it. Then I was just, just behind her, and then got back into it one more time to get down the track, and, and uh, she told me she lost uh, pedal. So we got, we got through that round somehow. How does the car look? Everything ready for semifinals? Everything's ready for the semifinals. Uh, no cracks. Everything was good. Uh, did a good inspection. We're, we're ready to go. Out way down the racetrack. But a 
552, 265 miles an hour. That's top speed to me for Bob McCosh. is ready to go the pizza has been enjoyed but even more enjoyable around wind bob mccosh yes sir we uh we've had a couple issues with the clutch so far this year we went to bell rose last week for our season opener and we set the track record in testing and went up both qualifiers and first round and took the tire off and we finally figured out on this last pass what our issue was and we got it fixed. We had her pretty soft. She ran 52, so I think I think she's got a little more in her. I think we're ready. Baby dog. Golick took out the number one qualifier for the Baby Gators and solidified himself in the Gator Nationals with a 60 best time of the weekend. Got to love a win light. Yes, uh, you know, we're, we're still working on this fuel system. The combination is still new to us. Uh, you know, it, it's, we're making small changes and we're getting there. Uh, we got we got a little bit of work to do here to come against Phil with his 47 that he just put up and uh, against uh, Bob. But, um, you know, I think we can... I think we can pull out a solid mid-50 right now. Uh, we got a little bit more handle on what's going on, and we're starting to understand things, and things are starting to work for us. So all we're going to do is try, and, hey, we're in, we made it to the finals at the Baby, the first, first race of the year. We can't complain. Phil Ez and his company, Ultrasonic, can get clean parts fast for you, but he is second quickest for the Gator Nationals and going into the, the Baby Gators' final round. Brian over there. 
Mr. Ez is known to cut a light or two, but 48 should have it covered, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, Brian, Brian definitely cut a lot. He's been good on the tree. We were good last. I was good last round, so it's going to be a good race. Um, we just got to go from A to B, really, and just get down, do the same thing we're going to do. That's what we're going to try to do on this next round. So hopefully, we can win this race. <laughs> Going to his first final in his first NHRA race. Joe, this is exactly why you chose the Samsels. That's exactly why, you're right. I told you before, this is the greatest family operation that I've seen out here. And to be a part of it is just unbelievable. This is honestly the most fun I've ever had in my life and the second most exhilarating experience I've ever had. Nobody's even shot at me out there yet. <laughs> The McPhillips team, well, they don't need any luck. They know what they're doing and got this car to sit down. Matt Cummings goes number one, but he's in the final for the Baby Gators. Rich, good moves there. Yeah, big turnaround from yesterday. Uh, pulled a bunch of power out of it. Really don't know why it was such a bomb yesterday, uh, Matt having to pedal. So we took some uh, power out of it, took some timing, clutch, all the uh, basic ingredients, and it went right down there. The Wally for the Baby Gators. It took about a week, but we finally handed them out. Phil, as you are the winner in Top Alcohol Funny Car, and this really represents for you starting last year, turning this program around, and now it's starting off tremendously well in 2024. Wow, it has come a long way. It sure has. I think the beginning of last year was really rough on us. This year is the best start we've ever had. Even though we had a hiccup with the oil pump locking up, E1 ran the whole run with no oil pressure, and it didn't blow the motor up. That's just amazing to me. But here we are. Uh, I mean, the crew's been doing a great job. We had the car at McKinney's. He took care of the race car this year. We did, made a, a, some changes in it, put a new body on it. Um, We've just been working really hard. Wild Motorsports, Todd Tuttero. I mean, there's been a lot of people. Johnny Davis, Les Davenport's been helping us tune it. I mean, so it's it's been a group of people to help us get to this point in a year. And um, and we've worked hard to get it, and we finally, it feels like we're finally in a direction. You know what I mean? When you get all those little ducks working, walking in the same direction, you know, you get one that goes the other way, it really messes up a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? It just takes one thing to really just mess you up. So pretty excited about our start this year we're going to try to win the gators next couple days that's our next plan he's got a good shot mr ez is qualified number two for the gator nationals race car driver
Samsel's Racing at the end of the day for the Baby Gators gave Joe C. Maynard a spectacular hot rod and in your first top alcohol dragster outing you pick up the win in regional competition stellar performance throughout last week to this weekend but you won over Matt Cummings in a pedal job it was it's it was strange because I honestly didn't know what pedal shake was and the mechanics of it and what it's actually doing until yesterday and like I said before this crew is amazing they sat me down yesterday and explained it to me with the graphs, with everything. And normally people will sit there and when they when they win and they'll talk about the sponsors. I'm just gonna say that this is mom's car. She wanted to see me race. She's a you know, she was a few months early on her departure for it. But this is mom triple triple nickel with a 555. Um, I just this is only my ninth run. I don't deserve this right now. This is all for them. This, these guys did it. I, I just I, I pressed the button and I, I step on the gases. But these are the guys that actually made the work and made it happen. Speaking of making it happen, the Samsels have got you set up good going into actual Gator Nationals eliminations. Yep. Uh, Matt Cummings went around us on the last round in the semis of this race. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get a back around him, but number two is still number two. It means we're, we're in the top half. We're sitting good. I fully believe in these guys and how and how well they're going to be working. I mean, they're already working on the car, and we got to run in like nine and a half hours. So they will, they'll get it right, and we'll be fine tomorrow, I'm sure of it. Congratulations, Joe. Thanks, sir. Appreciate you.